Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. As we already discussed that an equation with one variable require only one equation to have an unique solution. Similarly, equation with two variable require two equation to have an unique solution. So it should not be a surprise that equation with three variable require a system of three equation to have an unique solution. In this video, we are going to solve the system of linear equation in three unknowns. As you might expect the details are more complicated than just two equations but the principle is the almost same. In order to solve the system of equations in three variable known as three by three system the primary goal is to eliminate one variable at a time to achieve back substitution. A solution to a system of three equation in three variable is called an ordered triple. Now we will going to analyze the stepwise procedures to solve a linear system of equation with three unknowns. Here these stepwise procedures that explain how to given a linear system of three equation solve for three unknowns. First step is to pick any pairs of equation and solve for one variable. Secondly, pick another pair of equation and solve for the same variable. Through this process, you have created a system of linear two equation in two unknowns. Solve the resulting two by two system, which we are already explained in the last video in detail. And finally, back substitute non variable into any one of the original equation and solve for the missing variables. So we will begin with a simple numerical example to illustrate a general method for solving the system of linear equation in three unknowns. Now we have a numerical example that is x plus 3y minus z is equal to 4, 2x plus y plus 2z is equal to 10, 3x minus y plus z is equal to 4. So here the objective is to find the three numbers that is the value of three unknowns that is x, y and z which satisfy this equation simultaneously. We can now start the procedures to solve this equation. The variable x can be eliminated from the second equation by multiplying equation 1 by 2 and subtracting the equation second from first. So if you multiply the equation first by 2 then the equation 1 will become x plus 6y minus 2z is equal to 8. Now we can subtract the equation 2 from 1. So then 2x minus 2x will be cancelled. Then 6y minus y is equal to 5y minus 2z minus 2z will become minus 4z. Then 8 minus 10 will equal to minus 2. So the new equation will be arrived where we have a two variable by eliminating the variable x that is 5y minus 4z is equal to minus 2. Now we are considering another pair of equation that is equation 1 and equation 3. So for eliminating the variable x as we are already done in the previous case, we can multiply the equation 1 into 3. So the equation 1 will become 3x plus 9y minus 3z is equal to 12. So now we have two equation with a similar value of variable x that is 3x 3x we have a two equation that is 3x plus 9y minus 3z is equal to 12 and 3x minus y plus z is equal to 4. So by eliminating value of x that is 3x minus 3x will be cancelled 9y minus minus y will become 10y then minus 3z minus z will become minus 4z then 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. So we have a another equation with two variable y and z. So see here we have two equation equation 4 and equation 5 with two variable that is first one is 5y minus 4z is equal to minus 2 then the fifth equation is 10y minus 4z is equal to 8. 
Now we want to eliminate the y variable in this equation 5 by multiplying equation 4 by 2. So the equation 4 will become 10y minus 8z is equal to minus 4. So now we can eliminate the variable y as the coefficient of y variable is same that is 10. So 10y minus 10y will be cancelled then minus 8z minus minus 4z will become minus 4z is equal to minus 4 minus 8 will become minus 12. So minus 4z is equal to minus 12 and the value of z is equal to minus 12 divided by minus 4 which is equal to 3. Now if value of z is equal to 3, now we can substitute this on the equation 4 or 5. For example, we are substituting on the equation 4, then equation 4 is equal to 5y minus 4z is equal to minus 2. Then substitute value of z is equal to 3, that then it will become 5y minus 4 into 3, that will become minus 12 is equal to minus 2. So 5y is equal to minus 2 plus 12. So y is equal to 10 by 5 which is equal to 2. So we received the value of z is equal to 3 and value of y is equal to 2. Then finally substitute value of y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3 into equation number 1. Then for example equation number 1 is equal to x plus 3 y minus z is equal to 4. So substitute y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3. Then x plus 3 into 2 minus 3 equal to 4. So it will become x plus 3 into 2 will become 6 minus 3 is equal to 4. Then solve for x then x will become 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1. Thus solution is x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 3. Now we have another numerical example that is 4x plus y plus 3z is equal to 8 minus 2x plus 5y plus z is equal to 4. 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 9. So we have a 3 equation with 3 unknown variable that is x, y and z. Now we are taking first 2 equation. So to eliminate the x variable from the second equation, we can multiply the second equation by 2. So the second equation will become minus 4x plus 10y plus 2z is equal to 8. So we have a 2 equation that is first equation 4x plus y plus 3z is equal to 8 and the second one will become minus 4x plus 10y plus 2z is equal to 8. So for eliminating the variable x we have to add 2 equation. So 4x plus minus 4x will be cancelled. y plus 10y will become 11y. Then 3z plus 2z will become 5z and 8 plus 8 will become 16. So we have a one equation that is 11y plus 5z is equal to 16. That is the equation with a two variable y, z by eliminating the variable x. Similarly, we have to consider first and third equation that is 4x plus y plus 3z is equal to 8 and 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to 9. So we want to eliminate the same variable which we are already did in the previous case. So we want to eliminate x for eliminating the value of x. We have to multiply the equation 1 by 3 and equation 3 by 4. So if you multiply the equation 1 by 3, the first equation will become 12x plus 3y plus 9z is equal to 24. And similarly by multiplying the third equation by 3, 12x plus 28y plus 6z is equal to 36. Now the coefficient of variable x is same that is 12x. Now in order to eliminate the variable x we can subtract the both equation. So 12x minus 12x will be x will be cancelled. Then 3y minus 8y will become minus 5y. Then 9z minus 16z will become minus 7z. 24, 24 minus 36 will become minus 12. So we have another equation with two variable that is minus 5 minus 7z is equal to minus 12.
12. Now we have a two equation with the two variable that is equation 4 and equation 5. Now we can eliminate another variable for example here we are eliminating the variable y. So for eliminating variable y we are multiplying equation 4 by 5 and equation 5 by 11. So if you multiply equation 4 by 5 then equation will become 55y plus 25z is equal to 80 and similarly we are, we are multiplying the equation 5 by 11 so the fifth equation will become minus 55y minus 77z is equal to minus 132. So here so now we have the coefficient of y is same so we can add these two equations so that we can eliminate variable y. So 55y plus minus 55 will be cancelled then 25z plus minus 77z will become minus 52z then 80 plus minus 132 will become minus 52 so z is equal to minus 52 divided by minus 52 which will equal to 1 so the value of z is equal to 1 now the value of z is equal to 1 can be substituted in the equation 4. So equation 4 here it is 11y plus 5 into z that is z here value is 1 is equal to 16. So 11y plus 5 is equal to 16. So 11y is equal to 15 minus 5 which is equal to 11. So y is equal to 11 divided by 11 that is equal to 1. So value of y is equal to again we got 1. As we are already received the value of y is equal to 1, z is equal to 1. Now we can substitute these values into equation number 1. The equation number 1 is equal to 4x plus y plus 3z is equal to 8. So 4 into x plus y that is 1. Then 3z that is 3 into 1 which is equal to 8. So 4x plus 4 is equal to 8. Then 4x is equal to 8 minus 4 which is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4 by 4 which is equal to 1. So hence the solution is x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1. So this is the procedure for solving the system of linear equation in three unknown variables. I hope you are clear about how to solve the system of linear equation with three variable or three unknowns. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.